finally, the last chart is NVIDIA. <clears throat> NVIDIA has been the star of the show this year. So what we had is a big, this is NVIDIA with its 200 day and 50 day moving averages here up top, going back to summer of last year, it's relative performance versus SPY down here in the bottom with that same 63 day moving average. NVIDIA was drifting sideways here for months and months. And then we had that show that I talked about in Las Vegas, the uh, AI show in Las Vegas on the 8th of January. And look what happened. All of a sudden, we had a breakout here on the price chart. And NVIDIA started aggressively outperforming the S&P 500 versus the 63-day moving average. Came right, right back down to it, middle to latter part of April, screaming buy signal because the relative outperformance re-engaged right here. Look where we are now. We're sitting right on that 63-day moving average again. That means the big stock that's been driving the bus for most of this year has got a, has got a decision to make. It either re-engages that quarterly relative outperformance versus the S&P 500, or it loses that leadership. So to sum it up, watch this week really carefully. We believe that to avoid a correction, the market must really recover now. We have PCE on Friday, which is a personal consumption expenditures, the Fed's favorite gauge of inflation. So I think what happens this week, or let's call it from here to the end of the month, is going to dictate what kind of an August and maybe what kind of a September we're going to have as we move into the backside of the year.